Good afternoon. Here we are. I'm just going to press record. Here we are, Happiness Hackers, to the very final mini free workshop of 2016. Welcome, everybody. Um, so I've got my I've got my cuppa. Mm. Please get your cuppas ready. We'll just settle ourselves in. We'll get ourselves comfy. Hi Abigail. Hi Abby. Got your cuppa? Good. Downloaded my workbook here and I've got my pencil and I've got spare paper. So make sure you've got your workbooks, pencils and papers ready. I'll just make sure that I'm up on... I'm here so that I can see your questions as they come in. So if you have any... Qu brilliant, okay. So if you have any questions whatsoever, just write them into the chat box. So I've got my computer up, I can see what you're all doing much easier than, than on my phone. Um, we're just going to hang out for a little bit because I know there's quite a few people joining us. Um, so as soon as you are online, if you give me a little thumbs up to let me know, hi Evie, hi, just let me know that you're here and that you're settling in and we'll begin once we've got, yay, once we've got enough people to start. So enjoy your, just little settle yourself into yourself. Hi Tamsin, woohoo, hi Noosh, hi, mm. it's heaven. So I've had a bit of a, hi, a bit of a hecticness in this last 10 minutes. So we just settle ourselves in, see who else is going to join us. <laughs> I'm ready too, Noosh. Hello. Hi, Kerry. You managed to print it off. You got your workbook. Well done. I've printed mine off. So how this is going to work is we are going to go through the create a vision board that actually bloody works workbook okay so we're not going to go through all of the workbook but we're going to go through the parts of the workbook that really um, you might need my support okay so just to help draw from you more information so we're going to start from the beginning um, and you start from the beginning as well hi Steph welcome 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 see our tables growing our virtual kitchen table okay so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what a vision board is where's my piece of paper so what a vision board is the fact that you can do it on a canvas or yay or no it doesn't matter Kerry you don't have to have printed it off at all it's fine um, because at some point you will have printed it off. Hi Sue, hi, welcome. This is so exciting, technology is amazing. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you've got your workbook in front of you or not, you'll still gather lots of inspiration. So just make sure you've got a pen and a bit of paper. Um, so we're gonna go through what a vision board is. Um, we're gonna touch on, hi Natalie, welcome, welcome. We're going to touch on the Feng Shui Bagua, which is at the back of your workbooks, which is a is very ancient Chinese tool that I've kind of used to um, transfer that kind of super energy onto a vision board. So we'll go through that. Um, we'll go through the one reason why the vision boards haven't worked or all of it hasn't worked in the past before. Um... Then we'll touch on something which a lot of my kitchen tablers already love. This is one of my, you know, our favourites, is the pattern recognition system. Um, we'll touch on the laws of the mind, the how that um, uh, relates to the law of attraction. Uh, and then from there, using all of that information that you have now, in a minute, from there we'll go into the mind hack, we'll go into the... Um, the, the, the hacks that you'll be using either within this workbook, within the self-study courses um, and how you can use the information that you've gathered from your workbooks 
on um, the inescape quests. So, an inis um, what is an inescape quest? Um, how the timelines work? How you can do it and become self-sufficient and sustainable from your own kitchen table? Because that's my, um, you know, that was my mission. My my mission was to distill all of this information that I have worked within for the last 16 years and distill it down so that it's user friendly that any body can use at their own kitchen table and then obviously share that share those tools and techniques with their children who will then grow into adults knowing these 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 tools and techniques and will be applying them in their own lives so we'll be actioning the reason why they came to this planet and not dead end jobs with little or no money with not much true wealth going on okay so that's my um one of you know that's my mission that's my purpose for doing doing all of this stuff um people go on a lot about finding your tribe when you because when you start doing this kind of online stuff and um oh thank you nush thank you when you when people start talking about your tribe it's like finding your tribe i didn't have to find my tribe i've been with my tribe from the very beginning and all of you that have that are on this kitchen table are my tribe um they are the groovers and the shakers of this world they are the people that love to be off grid self self sustainable they're the conscious creators um they're they're working and talking and living their spiritual path um they're they're the travelers you know they're the they're the dongas they're the free livers of this world um yes lisa better late than never but it's all right i'm just um chatting here kind of giving a little bit of a backstory so but invariably my tribe um haven't really been uh, kind of you know they've been living their living their lives they've been they're very in the now they're very spiritual they're very earthy and connected yeah which kind of means that they pretty much skin money hasn't been an issue like a big thing to have money and consumerism and um wanting more for for people like me and for my tribe it's not really been the drive the thing but about a few years ago i came to conclude well what if my tribe had a lot more of the wealth what if the conscious creators and raisers of this planet the performers, the musicians, the sustainability um, promoters, the, the, the lovers of this planet. What if we had more wealth, more money? What would we do with it? Because we're already, we're already activists on loads of levels. Yeah, we're already the ones that are out front line with fracking and, and uh, whatever else is happening. We're already the, that. But what if we had the money? What if we were earning good money by doing what we were doing, how we could make those changes. And that really inspired me. So over the last five years, I've totally started to apply all of this stuff and downloaded this, this, um, this fusion of it all so that it is user friendly because my life has completely catapulted. Anyone that knows me and where where I've come from in the last five five years I was living on a little estate on, on paradise estate in Glastonbury yeah total free spirit performer living in benders and all over the place lush love it still love it but now I'm implying all of this and it's like right let's bring in the money let's invest in the people that we can invest in let's give to charities give to water let's start moving and creating what we really want to have i wake up every morning i love my job and i want you to have the same inspiration and the same passion of purpose and the reason how i've managed to do all that is to create new neural nets new pathways new oh, i miss you too kerry i will be back down and we'll have tea um, new neural nets, new pathways, new um, new programs of behaviour in my subconscious mind that has allowed me, that has fueled me and created this courageousness, this confidence, this um, sense of self that I embody now to action all of this, to sit in front of you guys live and action all of this. 
to put on my retreats, to create these workbooks, it's all come from doing the mind hacks, from hacking like a bastard. Okay, so I know when you apply yourself to this process, it will change your life. Because not only am I a living, walking, talking proof that it has changed my life on all levels, the physical, the mental, the spiritual and the emotional. It's changed my family's lives. It's upgraded theirs and it's changed the people that I'm in contact with. Anyone that's come on a retreat or had one of these workbooks or started their business up with my support or whatever will know this. OK, so. So this vision board workshop, right, we've got quite a few people on, so that's really cool. I'm just going to have a sip of my cup of tea and we'll start. I love making vision boards. I love making the real vision board. So I love buying a canvas. You can buy them for about £1.49 in the cheap shops, OK? Um, and you can buy them as big or as small as you like. Now, I like... I've, I've only just moved and we've had Christmas and I've packed all of my vision boards and they're in the back of the garage. Otherwise, I'd have lots to demo, but I don't have that at the moment. But I love a vision board that's about this big. Now, vision boards are organic. They love to be touched and felt and loved and fiddled with. They get very depressed and very sad when they're left in a corner collecting dust and the owner of the vision board walks past it and has stopped engaging with it and is starting to ignore it and in fact every time just looks at it goes oh that's rubbish it doesn't work and starts projecting how crap it is onto it it hates that that's right Steph it has got loads of cork boards at the moment and canvases um so grab as many as you can, because we want to keep creating um, as we go. OK, so it really hates the vision board is organic. It hates to be left on its own, don't we all? Yeah, we're all just like little plants that need lots of love and attention and sunshine and air and water and love. And so do our vision boards. Now. I'm quite a creative, so when I come to my vision board, I'm very big picture, okay? So I've had to learn and upload the left brain scenario going on for me, okay? So I, I'm, I'm very big picture. So I'll, I, I, I used to throw all my stuff onto the vision board. But since I've been working and using these mind hacks, I've really started to develop my left side, my left brain, okay? Because I need to. I'm in business. So I can't be totally creative because I have to, uh, you know, fill out the tax forms and um, create create all of this so everyone can get as much as they can from it. So I've had to really do a lot of work with my left brain and fuse my left and right together so that they work together. So hence why I discovered, which is in the back of your book, the Feng Shui Bagua, and I thought, well... You know, this has been going on for thousands of years. It's an ancient tool and um, something that they would, you know, that they would have used within their home, their garden, their business. Everything is built from this energetic system. And I thought, perfect. It looks absolutely perfect to put onto a um, onto a vision board. So if you want a little bit more kind of roots in something that's really ancient and really had an energetic inheritance then the Feng Shui Bagua is in the back of the book okay so this talks about the abundance and gratitude the fame and reputation marriage and relationships family and new beginnings health children joy in the future knowledge self-cultivation life journey and travel and helpful friends this is an all singing all dancing vision board OK, so I like to create one that I'm doing for a year and then I've created my five year one is just coming to an end. And the last bit is my multi million pound business. So I've taken that that multi million pound business. I can't see that Feng Shui bit. Can you see that? It's right at the back of the book. Page 56. OK, can you see it? Just give me a little thumbs up that you can. Um, so I've taken that, that, that last bit out of my five year plan and I've 
I've, well, I haven't created it yet, but it's going to be the um, a board on its own. Okay, so with that board on its own, I am going to look at these areas and transfer that onto my business. Okay, so for example, my marriage and relationship needs to have an area within within my business I can't be full on with my business and and leave our ah, brilliant Kate brilliant and leave these these bits out or the children or travel or life journey they're all really important aspects to to me you know having that life balance hi Sam welcome welcome we've only just started we're talking about the feng shui bagua bit which is found at the back of the book um so for me, if I'm just doing a business uh, um, vision board, all of these elements are still very important within my business, even though it's business focused. You can make a vision board that is one year, three years or five years. You can even do like a six month vision board. Um, but this workbook is, is mainly on a year, one year, you know, a one year um, looking towards it to review it next year. Now, some of you... Oh, yours only goes up to page 47. Really? Well, we'll download you another one, okay? Because this, I've just literally downloaded this one off, off the line. I don't know what's happened there. But what you've been missing then in yours is the ultimate mind hack um, process in the back and the Feng Shui one. So I'll send you, um, yeah, maybe it is. I'll send you, I'll send you this copy. I don't know what happened there. Um, so, okay. So if we go back, so that's where, that's how you can use, yes, we'll sort it out after see. So the Feng Shui Bagua is a lovely template, really, to work with. Um, when you're doing your vision board, whether it's numbering system may differ depending on your format. Yes. Yeah, probably. Okay, so if you open your vision your vision board workbooks to page three. Hi Kerry. Right to page three. Are you ready? This is very important. Okay, are you gonna take the blue pill or the red pill? I'm very ready, so I'm going to put a massive great big tick in the yes. So if you put a tick in the yes, just put a yes in that box for me. Yes, you are ready. It's super important that you get confirmation from your entire system that you're ready to embark on this process, okay? Um, that all parts of you are ready for this. It's not something to just look at and think, oh, that's really, that's really cool. In terms of NLP, in any session... Are you ready? Are we ready to do this? Yes, we are. So if you have, I'm ready, no, shot you. Put I'm ready in, yes. Ready, ready, ready. And notice if there's any, any doubt, any resistance coming up, because we, we want that on board. This is the thing, this isn't about all of my processes, is about welcoming that resistance on board, because those are, Woohoo! Those are um, brilliant. Those are, yes, brilliant. Those resistance, those parts of doubt, that kind of like fear, we need that. We need to um, bring that out onto the table so that we can go and find them and collect them. Because ultimately, this is what this workbook is about. Brilliant, right? We're all ready. Okay, so if you'd like to turn your pages over, now, what is really um, lovely to have, which we all love stationery, is to get a lovely little book and so that you can keep track. It's, I'm in the process of creating the Happiness Hackers tracker for this, but it's one of those things that are on the back burner. So for now, brilliant, Abby, so ready. So for now, go at the moment, though, it, you know, it, the sale is in abundance, isn't it? The little, the beautiful little book. So get a lovely little manifestation book. And what you'll do is you'll write down all the big stuff and all the little stuff that you start attracting into your life by doing this process. Now, this is really important because the more confirmation that you have in your face that you're reading about, looking at and actioning, 
the more your wires are rewiring. Okay, that's just a little side thing. That's just a little fun thing to do is to keep track of the big stuff and the little stuff. Now, also equally, what can what can happen is that when we put a bit something big down on our vision board or something big down into our dreams and goals, we might have um, time attached to it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I've got a little book with glitter pens too. <laughs> we love stationery. So I um so there might be time attached to the big stuff. So this is important. So when you're looking back and reviewing this, um, when you're reviewing what you're manifesting and what you're not manifesting, and you're looking at your vision board, just take some time and thinking. You know, if it's a if it's build your own house unpack that so it's like okay so actually it's build your own house where am I going to build it the money that's going to be building that to get the money I need to start my business to start my business I need to learn a few more skills to learn a few more skills I need to find my trainer I need to pay for that I need some childcare da, 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 da. okay so you're so unconsciously you have unpacked this building a big house thing and you've stuck it on your vision board and you've unconsciously given it three years or even seven years or even you've stamped it with that ain't never gonna happen and that's an unconscious projection and unconscious labeling that's really important that's never gonna happen i'm never gonna build my own house or have that or have that relationship or that business that will create that opportunity to build that own house. That's the thing, that's the moan, the groan, the fear, the criticism. That's what we need. That's the information that we need because we need to bring that into, um, into consciousness. Okay. Um, so we'll come to unpacking all of that in a minute. So if you look here, you'll need a large, strong card or canvas, lots of recycled magazines, pictures, photos, glues, glitters, maybe the girls round, a bottle of Prosecco. Now, I like to do, you can do it in pickcollege.com, okay? So you can do it online. If you're, if you're um, a techno, techno chick, do it online and, you know, it's there. If not, and you've got your vision board, what I love to do is take a photo of that vision board and I've got it as my screensaver. I've got the screensaver on my phone. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's really... Okay, so that's an interesting question, Steph. I'll come back to that. So you... Um, Take photos of the vision board and put it everywhere. Another little side thing, which is really sweet, which I love, came from um, Get Get Rich Lucky Bitch, that woman. Love her. If you tune into her, she's amazing. But she um, uses as passwords parts of your vision board or parts of your vision for the year. So I earn £100,000 a year. I live in a, an amazing house. I've um, I've just um, moved into my beautiful home. Yeah, so use your passwords as um, as the vision, but use it in the positive perfect present tense as if you already have it. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so Steph's question: How do you time things? This is why I struggle because I would say a year, do nothing for eight months, and then the next thing I know, it's been a year and nothing's done brilliant so if you've got a if you've got a big if you've got a big um big one say moving home for example um so in that miracle workbook which is which was given away for free but you can do this for any of them you find your big dream your big goal say moving house and then you put a time you you put a time bit on it so moving house, it might have been something that you've wanted to do for five years, three years, ten years already. OK, so you know that you know that underneath there, somewhere underneath there, you don't feel like you can move house, will move house, have enough money to move house. Whatever it is, the underlying belief structure that is keeping you in the old house. OK, um, 
you're looking at your I'm going to move into my big house I'm moving into my big house and then you put your time zone into it so you put three months down and you notice how it feels and you're like no way I'm never going to move in three months so this is really important okay so in terms of your moans and groans criticisms and fears you're like I'm never going to move in three months so if you all turn to page seven one outrageous life goal okay the first thing that comes to mind write it in the center of that star and we'll do this now Steph we'll do the time thing now on this live so write it in the center of the star one outrageous life goal it doesn't even have to be outrageous it can just be a life goal the first thing that springs to mind and then if you share it on here then I know when it's good to go I can also use an, an actual live example Anyone there? One outrageous life goal. You think of your life areas, finances, house, relationship, TV job. Anything else? Anyone else? Life goal is to be happy. That is good. That's more than good enough. Get rich, have another healthy, happy baby. Yes. <sighs> Lovely. My own house, yeah. To get my book published. Wonderful. These are really lovely. Live off grid, free, th 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 uh, yes. Own house. Get my oils out in the mainstream. Get land. Lovely. So Steph, Stephanie, I can never think of one. It's just happiness and be good more. I've never had a huge passion. That's wonderful. To be happy is great. So think of um, think of what will bring out happiness in you. So if we just, if you look at your life areas, say environment, your home, how happy are you on a scale of one to ten? Your um, relationship, how happy are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Money, how happy are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Hi Sarah, welcome! Okay, so put that life goal right in the centre there. And for Steph, you can just put happy. Because you've chunked yours up already. Okay, which is a great thing to be. Okay, so how long is it going to take you, so round the star, how long is it going to take you to get your land, to get your oils in mainstream selling, possible and Amazon big market, to own your own house? How long is it going to take you to live off grid and free of the system? How long is it going to take you to get my book published? How long is it going to take you to own your own house, have another healthy and happy baby, get rich, TV job? How long is it going to take you? The first, the first response and put it in, put it in here, put it in the comments. So Sarah, we're, we're on page seven and we're doing one outrageous life goal at the moment. So the first goal it doesn't have to be outrageous but just the life goal the first life goal that springs to mind put it in there one year and does that feel right to you that's the next question does that feel right to me and if it's a yes it's all about tapping into your sixth sense it's all about tapping into your inner knowing and does that feel right to you Lise 18 months so this is it. You're always constantly checking in with yourself. Carry one year. Does that feel right? So notice what you notice. OK, so if you move through to page six to 12 months, two to three months, two years. So ask yourselves, does this feel right? Good. So anything other than that, yay, Ellie, well done.
Brilliant. Okay. Okay, yes. Say six months to start. Brilliant, Natalie. Brilliant. So it's all about double checking in, in yourself. <gasps> Sarah, that's exciting. Okay. So that's realistically four years. So how about pulling that forward to two years? How does that feel? Scary? No, never happen. Well, possible. Yeah. So whatever you've said, pull it forward just a little bit. I think Steph did it automatically. She pulled it back to six months. So whatever you've said, pull it back a little bit and see what resistance comes up. Because this is what we're looking for. So go to page 30. Ellie, what we're doing is one life goal. So pick a life goal. It can be an outrageous one or just a lovely, whatever one you want. And ask yourself, how long is it going to take you to create that? The first thing that pops up. It could be one year, six months. It could be never. And write that down. So go to page 30. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull that apart. And you're going to write down. This is what's really, this is really important part of the process. Your moans and groans, your criticisms, fears and judgments about you having or not having that needs to go here yes okay so Kate okay and nurse brilliant so so Kate in your moans groans criticisms and fears what you would write down because you said November initially and then July and instantly thought there's not there's too much to do okay perfect career six months brilliant Yes, okay, so go to page 30. So for example, okay, Kate, so, you know, my um, July, I instantly thought there's, no, there's too much to do. So that's my moan and groan. What we're doing here are those one-liners. It's, it's, there's too much time. There's, there's not enough time to do what I want to do. There's too much for one person to do. I can't handle everything. It will take too much money. It will take too much energy. I don't have that. I don't have the skills yet. I don't know the right people. Um, I haven't had that good idea dear, that I'm going to make it rich in six months. To own my own studio in four years, yeah, that's the right time. But two years, that's pushing it. Um, what we're doing is we're eliciting the moans and groans, criticisms, fears and judgments that could stop you from creating that in in that shorter time period okay so have a little think and then write write in the chat box what you've put so Kerry for yours it's scary I'm scared I'm too emotional to create that um, I'm not stable enough at the moment financially to create it whatever it is write down your little list I'll give you a couple of minutes but if you could write a few on here, then I can use one or two as an example to in order to flip it. Doubting my ability. I doubt my ability. I doubt myself. I don't believe in myself. I don't believe I'm good enough to, to get that TV job. I'm in the wrong location to get a good TV job. I'm, you know, whatever it is, Write the I am nots or I don't believes or I don't deserves. Write it in that, in that it's unrealistic. Yeah. I don't have the admin skills. I'm too disorganised. Write all this down. And no response to my contacts being ignored. I am ignored. Fear of getting things wrong. Buying the wrong place. Also financial to make enough between now and then to do it. Bad credit. Okay. So now we're going to, we're going to, start so fear of getting so for example let's think let's get Kerry's one fear of getting things wrong buying the wrong place so write it as if you are owning it okay okay so I fear I'm not financially intelligent enough to make the right moves yeah that was one of mine actually Worried about, well, similar, what one about being stuck in the house forever, too much physical work, lots of heavy lifting, DIY declutter, being brave enough to change my life. 
fear of doing it alone, I don't think I can do it alone, it's unrealistic, not enough time, overwhelmed. Okay. Okay. So, look at your list. So in an ideal world, you would ask yourself, and is there anything else? And is there anything else? You'd sit with this, you'd sit with your cup of tea, you'd sit with your pen and you would look at it and you would feel it out. Is there anything else that's stopping me? You look at time, you look at finances, you look at health, you look at your your um, abilities, you know, have I got those skills on board? You look at all of these areas to give you a little nudge. You know, if we're doing one-to-one -one sessions or you're doing the self-study course, there's enough in there to nudge you into unpacking it more. But when you've when you just bought the workbook and you're doing it at home, remembering to ask yourself this question, and is there anything else helps you go that next step, that next little step further and unpack more moans and groans, criticisms and fears. I'm scared and don't feel I have the confidence to do it. What if it goes wrong? Brilliant. This is all the, re not that it's brilliant that you're scared, but it's really, it's this, this is the information that's going to be the difference. Okay. We want this. We're not, we're not going to be blocking it or getting rid of, rid of it or, you know, just rewriting it. We want this because there's little parts of you younger selves that are currently scared and they don't have the confidence to do it they're scared and they're, they're worried that it's going to go wrong so there's a little part of there's a younger ellie of whatever age that has learned to to hide away her courage and her confidence in in either the, the workplace or um you know relationships or money or wherever it is that she shows herself She's hidden that that confidence and that courage away because one time she stood up, put her hand up, was confident and courageous. At some point, something or other crushed her. It happens to us all. I see it over and over and over and over and over again. And so she scurries away that little bit of confidence and that little bit of courage and she keeps it safe and hidden. That part of her, she keeps it safe and hidden. Sorry to use you Ellie as an example, but it was it's a great example. OK, and so that part never comes out to, um, to 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 be seen again. But what happens is, is as we grow, those dissociated parts of the self remain at six or eight or two. Yeah. Fragmented off in time. And we keep growing. And as an adult at 44, if I get triggered and this little part, yes, that, that's perfect. So this little part is triggered. Oh no, it's too scary. Don't show your confidence. Show, don't show your intelligence. Stay, stay back because the last time you did this, the shit hit the fan and you were made to feel stupid and crap. So don't, don't you put yourself out there. I'm protecting you. I know what's, what's gone on. But this is from a four-year-old or a six-year-old. Now, the adult intelligent side of us knows that actually we are supported. We have handled our lives up until this point. When shit has gone down, we've actually come through it. Albeit we might have had to drag our sorry selves through it. But we have. We're here right now on this call. We, we're making it. Yeah, we're making it. So we know as adults we have that in us. But when this little part is triggered, that's all, that's all singing and all dancing. And will do everything in their power to keep us safe, even though it's detrimental for us in our adult world. So until we go back and claim that part on board, until we go back and collect her or him and bring her and look through that fear and that pain. And we find that confidence and we find that sense of self and, and courage and self-belief. And we, we bring that through on an energetic level you know, and it will be a particular colour, you know, and it will be it will be hidden somewhere in the, in their body, either in their hearts or their minds, or it might be a full body thing, but it will be in there and we grow it and expand it. And then it will be drawn to coming to us somewhere. So it might be drawn the same place into the heart. It might be our hands. But then we fully engage and bring that energetic back on board. We mature them up from being four and eight or 16 or whatever age it is. We mature them up to being in the year 2016, the, for me, the age of 44. And then once that has um, that structure, that belief structure that that part was responsible for holding in place has dissolved, 
the ability to take that step into a new job not just a new job but a, a career that has no ceiling lid for for finances that is expanding because in the world you're either expanding or contracting yeah you're either expanding or contracting might albeit slowly and once those parts are on board we are effortlessly expanding because that's that's grown up into our mature adult self so this is what this whole process is about so right now draw so the easiest way to do this for you guys is to draw a little gingerbread man it does not have to be a Rembrandt Rembrandt okay and write draw or represent how your list makes you feel and where you feel it okay so like nush i have to accept my position and place in life it's not going to be easy it's too stressful no one believes in me that where do you feel that in your body is it one place is it several places and how do you feel it so you might end up So it might end up something like this. Just go with whatever comes. So it might end up like this. Again, bringing it back to your body, mapping out any recurring thoughts or feelings that you have around actioning and living that outrageous life goal. Where do you feel that in your body, that fear, that pain, that kind of, I'm not good enough. Have you got it? Give me a little thumbs up. Give me a little yes when you've got that. Yeah, it feels like a slump. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so this, what you've just done now, is an Inescape Quest survey, a very mini one, but it shows us a map, it gives us, brilliant Natalie, it gives us um, an emotional gateway, brilliant Kate, it gives us an emotional gateway so that we can travel, yes, okay, so brain, frazzle, aching body, okay, so write, draw, represent all of that somehow, so there might be more than one, brilliant, there might be more than one, but it gives us an emotional gateway, a map into being able to track the part of you that has been fragmented off, that currently is living with that brain frazzle and aching body and that solar plexus contraction and that fear and that self-doubt. That part has been living and, and, and been the cont container for that emotion and so when something in your world in your adult world is happening that part's triggered and that's what plays out it's an automatic response and it will be a mode of protection some kind of mode of protection which invariably is very sabotagey very dysfunctional um, it could cause you know lots of arguments within the family home it could be it could manifest in all sorts of self-hate behavior all sorts um, it could close down whatever its mode of protection is that's what will happen in an adult so this is very important when you've got your gingerbread man in your emotional gateways we're going to do we're going to go on a quest in a minute and we're going to find that part and bring her or him back on board i think it's all ladies at the moment but there may be men watching this later so bring her or him back on board okay you all done with with all of that yeah Okay, so, so you've got your list, okay, and you've got your emotions. What we're going to do now is, because part of this vision board, this quest that we're going to do today, brilliant, is we're also then going to future pace a year. We're going to go on, once we've gone back your timeline, 
and grab that little person back on board. We're going to future pace a year and we're going to find the part of you that currently embodies the complete opposite of this. So have a look at your long list of moans and groans, criticisms and fears and then go to page 31 and think what would I rather have? What would I rather think? What would I rather feel? And think the opposite and positive and put it down there. So what we're looking for is a list of... Um, so, for example, with Ellie, I'm scared and I don't feel I have the confidence to do it. What if it goes wrong? I, I feel courageous and full of confidence. I know myself... And I know my abilities and I know everything that I do is right for me. OK, that would be the opposite and positive. Not enough time overwhelmed. I have plenty of time to do everything that I want. I feel calm and at ease with myself and everything that has to happen. OK. Fear of doing it alone. I don't think I can, can do it alone. It's unrealistic. Um... OK, so I'm happy doing, I'm fully supported 100% and I'm happy doing things alone, also with people. I love, uh, because there's a difference between alone and loneliness. There is a difference. So I feel connected and I love doing things and actioning things on my own. I am fully supported. I have support physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually 100%. So you start writing your list. I am fully supported. I love doing things on my own and I'm fully supported. I have a community around me. I have friends around me. I have a loving partner. Even if you don't have any of these things, at this precise moment, we're, we're not talking about the conscious mind. We're talking about the subconscious programming, OK? How are you with all of that? Let's see. So, some, so text me some positive perfect present tense sentences. Brilliant. Now the reason why they have to be in the now, so I am, like you own it, I am courageous, I am confident, I believe in myself. I deserve and happily receive all that's good in my life because that's another major bit with all of this is receiving because you could have all the rest, all the other sections of it all perfect and then right at the last moment scupper it because you're not very good at receiving the good. So that's an upload that needs to happen as well. Okay, so once you've got your perfect positive present tense set of beliefs, I am seen and heard by important industry professionals. Yes, lovely. I am seen and heard by important industry professionals. They love me. They can't get enough of me. Well, you don't want to put can't get enough of me because that's um, negative. So they love me. They want me. Them. I'm. I work non-stop. I work all the time. I work well by myself, I have the skills and I love what I do. I have community and family to support me. Lovely. Perfect. I am fully supported. I get pregnant instantly and have a beautiful baby. Beautiful. I am confident that my decisions are sound and will succeed. Okay, so this is a perfect one. So I am confident that my decisions are sound and will succeed. Okay, so will is future tense. And so in terms of our subconscious mind, our subconscious mind is literal. It's in the now. The um, conscious mind is in is time based. So it can do past and present and future. OK, but the subconscious mind is like a gigantic library where it just stores all the information and all your senses through your through your senses just stores it all in there. OK, so when you put something in, if you put that in, I am confident that my decisions are sound and will succeed it will be literally that that it will succeed at some point it will succeed so you will forevermore be in a place where it hasn't quite succeeded it will succeed so this is where we have to get really really picky with your sentence so rewrite that as i am confident that my decisions are sound 
I succeed in everything I do. Okay, that's that's like perfect, positive, present tense. That's in the now, having it now. So of all the ad admin skills I need and I streamlined and organised, I step forward with passion and joy. I have the clear workspace I need. Lovely. I am so excited about my new career and know that I can pull this off as I have the abilities and confidence to excel in this field. So I am so excited about my new career. I have the ability and confidence. I am excelling in this field. I'm absolutely excelling in this field. I'm so excited about my new career. I am excelling in this field. Okay. Because that I know that I can pull this off. It's like I know I can, but I'm not. So we so the the subconscious mind will literally put you in that position of knowing it, but not experiencing it. So again, just tweak it. I mean, honestly, even though I've been doing this for years now and I'm writing my lists out, oh, those little ones, they're sneaky buggers. So just really go through it. Is that me having that right now? Or is that me being put in a place of still not having it? They're so subtle. Receiving money is relaxing to me. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to upload that one. I love to receive money. Oh. I have plenty of time to achieve everything that I want to do, including finishing my book. The publishers are bidding against each other to sign me up. Lovely. OK, so that's really interesting. OK, so I have plenty of time to achieve everything I want to do. There's some things that you want to do that you think you want to do, but your subconscious mind will say you don't want to do it. So there could be an inner conflict. So it would still give you that but only off the back of the things that you really want to do, which your conscious mind might be dreaming of things that you want to do to enhance your life. Do you see what I mean? So your conscious mind would be dreaming what you want to enhance your life, but it might not align with what it is. So I have plenty of time to achieve everything. I have plenty of, it, of time to achieve everything, including finishing my book. The publishers are bidding against each other right now to sign me up. Adding things like right now is a great time hack. So I'm living my wonderful new life in the sun. I am brave and able to create this life I want. So again, it's still like a wanting thing. So I'm living my wonderful new life in the sun. I am brave. And I love creating my life this way. I've used the word need twice, is that okay? Hang on, where have you done need? Let me see. I have all the admin skills I need. I'm streamlined and organised. Yeah, I would drop the I would drop the last I need. I have all the admin admin skills and support because you might have you might you know buy in someone with admin skills. I've got shit admin skills. <laughs> I need someone to come and do that for me. It's that thing, isn't it, of like creating the money to to give someone else a job that they love to do. You know, so I have all the admin skills and support to street and I've streamlined and organised. I step forward with passion and joy. I have I have my beautiful clear workspace. I have that right now. Not about need, it's beyond need, isn't it? I have plenty of time, I will not be stuck here forever, I can be brave. I am loved and I am safe, I have great ideas, I have the skills, I am encouraged. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so let's unpick it. I have plenty of time. Um, ditch the I will not be stuck here forever. So what would you rather have than not being stuck here forever? What would you rather have than not being stuck here forever? I can be brave. Again, can. It's all in your workbook, so don't worry. So can is you can be, but are you being? So we ditch the can with I am brave. I am loved and I am safe. I have great ideas and I have the skills. I am encouraged. That's a perfect one. So I have plenty of time. I move forward in life with grace and ease. I can be brave. I am loved. I am safe. 
I am clear on my path ahead to financial freedom. I am clear on my path ahead to financial freedom will give you the experience of being on your path to financial freedom. So I am clear on my path. I have financial freedom. <laughs> yeah, I'm clear on my path. I have financial freedom. Hi, Jen. Woohoo! We're we're quite far down the um the the process now, so it might be a good idea uh, just to just to um there's you know to to replay this at some point as well because there's a there's a lot of good stuff at the beginning got it thank you i work all the time my creative contribution is seen as unique exciting intelligent and special do you want to work all the time abs is that a real balance life balance wouldn't it be great to have all the options and choice to you know choose your amazing roles so I would just look at that bit, I work all the time, because you might end up working all the bloody time. So choice things, really, you know, I can see you abs, oh man, you know, those jobs are coming right now. I changed it to, ha I have the necessary admin skills available to me. Yes, yeah, great. My financial knowledge expands expertise and is fully supported by the universe yes just be somewhere else a safer house not having to be worried about intimidating neighbors okay so it's still what you don't want okay so change that so ask yourself what would I rather have Steph what would I rather have what kind of environment would I rather have I live in a safe and loving home um, that is I mean what what do you want with with loving within a loving community with great neighbours okay so it's all about what you do want not about what you don't want so asking the questions the questions are all in this workbook what would I rather have how would I rather feel how would I rather be flips your mind flips your consciousness into the positive now just on one level alone do, just asking yourself, whenever you observe yourself going into the negative, hang on, how would I rather, pressing the pause button and thinking, how would I rather feel, how would I rather be, how would I, hang on, what thoughts would I rather have, I don't want that, so what do I want? Just doing that one little hack, day in, day out, helps rewire the brain, will help the peptides that release within your emotional cortex be positive ones, which means that the negative ones will start dying on your cells, and will be opening up new positive locks for the new positive peptides, the new positive emotions, which you will then become addicted to, so that this process becomes easier. The more we action it, it becomes easier and easier and easier to do. At, at the beginning, it's, it's hard because we are all so indoctrined into being in what we don't want. Okay, so I'm like whoa, encouraging you into thinking about what you do want. So. What do you want? What kind of home do you want? I want a loving home, a safe home, with beautiful community around me, and amazing neighbours. Money makes sense to me. Yes, <laughs> it's really funny. I'm going to have that too because it doesn't. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to better places. So again, going to is a is a is a future tense. So again, the subconscious mind is timeless. It doesn't understand future tense. So if you put that in. It will just put you in a position of going to better places forever, but never getting there. Yeah? So I am in a better place. I am in a loving place. My family and I are in a superb, amazing place. So even though you're not yet, we're putting the belief in that you are. And then from that, from your deep programming, then spirals out the um, the frequency of creating that. It Okay, so one of the things that we haven't touched on here, and I know we've already spent an hour, okay, so so one of the things that we haven't touched on is the pattern recognition system. It's a filtration system between your conscious and subconscious mind, okay, everyone has one. It's like a huge um, sorting office which filters and sorts information as it comes in through your senses. Because you can imagine, if you didn't have this sorting office there, we would quite frankly go mad, okay? So you go into a big coffee shop, 
and all of that information's coming in. If you if you ha were consciously aware of all of that information, you would crash. Your mind wouldn't be able to do it. So what happens in this sorting office that everyone has, the billions of bits of information is coming through and it sorts and filters against your programs, against what you believe and expect to see in the world. And it will delete everything else, okay? So in terms of, say, like Abby, her, in, her, in her belief thing, she's not seen or heard or recognised in her role as an actress, okay? At the moment, there is a part of her that isn't seen or heard and recognised. Now, that, that, we'll find out who that is later on when we do a little quest and bring her back on board. And she will very much be seen and recognised and heard because we've gone and found her and bring her back. But up until this point, the pattern recognition system is filtering and sorting the information off the back of those old beliefs. I'm not seen or heard or recognised. So she goes for her pattern recognition system. When she's looking at all the jobs, all the auditions... Her pattern recognition system sorting and filtering. So is isn't going to show her the ones where she will be seen and recognised and heard. They will just show her the ones where she won't be seen and recognised and heard. Because that's what she believes. Yeah? So, in terms of getting your pattern recognition system on board, there's two ways of going about it. There's this way, which is we go back and we bring that that younger self up that's seen and recognised and, and heard on board and then your pattern recognition system when she's scrolling through the the um, lists of acting jobs her pattern recognition system is deleting all the ones where she wouldn't have been seen and heard and they're pulling to her forefront which were always there they were always there they were always there so bringing them to the forefront and she'll go oh that's like, that looks like a good job I'll go for that and she goes for the audition and they're like fucking hell you're an amazing you're amazing and gives her the job your pattern recognition system is a sorting office now in the self study courses there's the um, mind hack that will take you down a process to connect with your pattern recognition system your sorting office and you will discover who's in charge and you can give them missions so you literally you do all of this stuff and then at the very end you go to your pattern recognition system and you go to your the head honcho whoever's in charge and mine looks a bit like data with that thing you know he's very autistic and he just actions everything i give him my mission so abby would go find me jobs where i'm 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 seen and heard and recognised and the producer loves me and everyone loves me and they just keep giving me you know Ken Loach just gives me loads and loads of roles I'm his next best actress okay but that is in the self-study course everyone gets there's a code called vision it's a vision code and it's 20 or 50 percent off so it makes it like 25 quid the self-study course and there's all of the mind hacks in there okay so that's running until the end of January um, okay, so where are we now? Okay, I'm living an amazing life, doing what I love. I believe in myself and say yes to my financial freedom. I love my kind of life. It's amazing. Passive income flows into my pockets easily now. Love it. Adding the now on the end is brilliant. I am excelling in my field. I'm bloody good at what I do and I, my business is always growing. How about once? I want. Is that okay? No. The other sentences are I am and I have. Yes, I am. I have. I want will put you in a place of wanting. That is it. it because the subconscious mind is literal. Oh, she, she's in a place of wanting. And your, your pattern recognition system, your sorting office, whoever's in charge of that, will show you all the places where you'll just be wanting a new job, wanting a new um, career, wanting a new house, wanting a new thingy. Not having it. So I have my beautiful home in, in the middle of an amazing community that are all on the same page with me you know we contribute brilliantly it's all brilliant so it's i ams i haves okay my daughter's face whilst listening to you she always falls asleep next to you whilst we're chatting oh yeah my path is clear guided and supported fully by abundance experience and opportunities that bring wealth are drawn to me and i receive them joyfully that's beautiful I am enough. To, I, I am enough to do all that I need. Yes, I just changed everything to I am or I have. Fuck, fuck. I fuck. I want. Yeah, fuck it. It was so last year. We don't want. I want. We have it. We have it. We own it. This is where. This is brilliant. Oh, I love this. I love this. Right. So now do another gingerbread man. Okay. A map draw or represent those good feelings. It might be an all over body feeling. 
just tap into that I have it I am worthy I am seen I am heard I am all over it I live in this beautiful house oh, yeah, the peace the expansion of self you know my kids are all chilled where do I feel that you know map draw represent that give me a big thumbs up when you've done it because then we'll go on a little mission How are you? How are you all doing? We got it? Are we there? Yeah? Okay, sometimes it's so though that does. Yes. Okay, so you need to flip that straight away. I get so excited. I feel stable and joyful. Warm in tummy and spiralling up through my throat. It feels lush and liberating. Lovely. Yes, done. Good. So, flip that um, nush. Yes, done. Like stuff happens to me and it's all amazing. But it's, but it's so, so amazing. I sort of get overwhelmed. Okay, so flip that. So put the overwhelm that you're feeling and the dizziness that you're feeling in the gingerbread man. Map that out because we can use that on the month in the month's in a script quest. We're only going to go down and find one part today, but map everything that you map out. So use that that comes up um, on on a quest on a monthly quest. Released in upper back and lower back. Tension gone. Wonderful. I feel relaxed with flowing energy. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. So you okay? So we're gonna go as soon as you've all got that. Nush, have you written that down on your gingerbread man and mapped that where you feel the overwhelm and dizziness? And then on your other gingerbread man, when you know, you know, when that positive stuff happens, I feel amazing. Just map that out there. And that's stuff to work with and stuff to work with. Okay, so ladies and gents, if, if some come on, I'm just going to light a candle. What we're going to do now is we're going to use this information. So, for example, so in the workbook, feel full of energy and shining and warm everywhere. Brilliant. Brilliant. So in the workbook, okay, there is the mind hack. It's written down for you, all right? In the self-study course, which I th is half price vision, you put vision in, it's like 20 quid, and it's got all the, it's got this process that we're doing now. So every time you come up with a list of moans and groans, criticisms, fears, and you've got your gingerbread man and you've got your entry point, there's an MP3 of me that will take you on a journey to claim them back and bring them back on board. It's like a, an in escape quest monthly thing, but it's only for the one. So you go and do it. And then the mind hack takes you to the future self of about a year and downloads some information and brings brings that energy, the one that's currently embodying that full of energy and shining and warm everywhere within and out the feeling of expansion, the feeling of relaxed with energy flowing, that tension gone, that feeling of release in the upper back area, all those things, all those positive things that they, they've been embodying that for a year. So they've been living their life from that place for a year. When we go up your timeline, they would have been living that out and they will know certain things that you don't right now. They'll know the month that it all kicked off for you. They'll know the month where transformation happened for you. They'll know the month where it really, the money started flowing, when the house moves started coming, when the when you conceived with your baby, they'll know all these things. So we'll go and, we'll go and connect with them and we'll find out some information. Now that information, sense, see or feel it out. It might come verbally, it might be really clear, it might just be a feeling, it might just be an image, 
however it, it could be a gift you know however it comes to you just accept it it's about not censoring ourselves on this process it's about really distracting conscious mind and just letting that subconscious um, energetic flow okay so what we're going to do now is once you've got that just just take a moment get yourself settled just sit where you are um, and just have a little look at your um, brilliant brilliant so we're just going to take you on a little in escape quest okay oh, give me a thumbs up that you all want to go on one Thumbs up. It will take about 15 minutes. Yeah. So if you do want to go on a quest right now and you've got a spare 15 minutes, stay on. Lovely. And if you don't want to go on it right now, then bow out and come back to it. Uh, you know, you, this replays on here as a resource for our kitchen table forever. So if you want to come back to it, come back to it. But for now, we're going to take you on a little quest. Lovely. OK, so look at your two gingerbread men. OK, the one with the moans and groans, that kind of negative feeling waiting in the rocket ship. Yeah, baby. Cool. So you're looking at that one. The I am not good enough. I don't deserve it. It's all overwhelming. Da, 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 da. You, you see that one there. And then have a little look at the future one, the one when all of that's on board and that full of energy, that full of love, that full of supported. I am supported. I am present. So just take note of that, because when we go on this quest, there'll be certain time. There'll be a certain time where I'll ask you to call to mind both of those. It will be the going back to claim the inner child first. So we're using that um, negative feeling as the gateway first. And then when we have them on board, We'll be going through the um, brilliant. We'll be going to the future self of a year. OK, and we'll be asking them what they know, basically, and then fusing with their life force, their energy, their essence of self self and bringing them back to the now. OK. OK, so I'm going to right, I've lit the candle. I'm just going to take around. So we've got the candle, we've got that, just so that you can concentrate, you can keep your eyes shut. So just start settling yourself in. Shut your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as I'm talking, just do your final adjustments, making sure you're warm and comfy and that you won't be disturbed. Remember to go with the first thought, feeling or image that springs to mind. Without judgment, go with the first number or colour that you sense, see or feel. A nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, settling yourself deeper into your body. Allowing it all to wash over you if nothing comes at all knowing that you're working on a deep cellular and energetic level, cleansing and clearing the past, present and future of all contracts, codes and beliefs that no longer serve you. Do it anyway, Steph. I've done these with my babies, with my kids around. It's amazing what us women can do. You create that space and just let it flow. It's something that you can always come back to. A nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just relaxing your jaw and your face and that little bit of skin across your forehead. <sighs> Bringing your awareness down into your shoulders, down into your elbows, your wrists, your hands your thumbs, all of your fingers, your whole hands, all your arms, just letting them go heavy and relaxed. And bringing your awareness into your heart, allowing it to soften and open a little bit, 
remembering to go with the first thing you sense, see or feel without censoring, without judgment, go with the first image or colour that springs to mind. And bringing your awareness down into your solar plexus, just allowing that to settle. Relaxing your tummy and your hips and that space in between. Just bringing your awareness down into your knees, all the way down into your ankles, your feet, your big toes, all your toes. Just allowing all your legs to just completely relax. Feeling fully present within your own body, bring your awareness back up to the base of your spine. And now imagine a line extending down, all the way down through the chair that you're sitting on, or the bed that you're lying on, all the way down through the floor, through the earth, all the way down through the rock all the way down till you start to sense or see the grounding energy of Mother Earth. Notice what you notice about it. What colour or form is it? Just secure the line there. And take a moment and write the day's date and your name into the line all the way down, your full name and today's date. Securing you, grounding you deep within the earth. And just welcome that beautiful grounding earth energy to come up through the line all the way up. Notice the colour and just allow it and welcome it to come into your body. Just expanding it all the way up through your body and down through your legs. Expanding it through every cell of your being. Just welcoming that grounded earth energy through every cell of your being. Now extend your awareness about 900 feet above your body, all the way up, all the way up till you're greeted by the light of source energy. Notice what you notice about it, what colour it is. And welcome it to come all the way down, all the way down through the top of your head, all the way down into your body. All the way down throughout every cell of your being. Accepting the healing and energy to cleanse and clear your entire system. Mixing with the grounding energy of Mother Earth. Okay, so whilst you're here in this beautiful space, just call to mind a place you love to be. It could be in your own bed, it could be on your sofa, it could be a wood or a sea, somewhere that you feel really happy and really lovely. Just call to mind that place, that really happy, safe place. Okay. Okay, so now take a moment and call to mind that feeling that you found or that limiting belief that you found today. That negative feeling that you drew on your gingerbread man. Where do you feel that in your body? Remember a time recently when that came up for you? It might have been a scenario, a situation with someone, something you did or didn't do. 
and just tune into where you feel that in your body. And where do you feel that in your body? And what kind of feeling is that feeling? And when was the very, very first time you ever felt that? The first time you ever felt that feeling, how old were you? The first number, the first impression, the first memory that springs to mind. How old are they? And what are they wearing? Where are they? What kind of environment are they in? Notice what you notice. So say hello to them and let them know who you are and thank them for showing themselves to you. Now ask them, ask them who do they love the most? Who do they love the most? Let the answers just spring to mind. Who do they love the most? And now ask them, who was it that made them feel like that? Who was it that made them feel like that? What was the situation? What happened? Sense, see or feel that out. Now your younger self would have formed an opinion or belief about this, that maybe it was somehow their fault, but it's not necessarily true or right. So as an adult, you looking in on this situation, why do you think they made your younger self feel like that? What was really going on? Share this insight with your younger self, let them know what was really going on. And give your younger self some love and invite them now to come with you to your safe place that place that really makes you happy just share with them that place show them the vision of it share the feeling of it just invite them to come with you are they happy to come if not do whatever needs to happen for that to happen let them know that you've come to collect them that they don't ever have to feel that way ever again. And let them come with you. And just ask them if they have a message for you. Or a gift even, something that they might have been keeping safe for you all this time. Thank them for that. And now just have a good look at them. Do a body scan of them. Sense, see or feel where they've been holding on to that negative feeling. Where in their body have they been holding on to that? It will be a particular colour, particular kind of energy. Where in their body it might be a particular place or it might be a full body feeling. Notice what you notice about it. Now look deep inside, really look inside. You'd start to see where they've hidden away and protected themselves. That little place of self deep inside. They've been protecting themselves all these years. It will be quite small. They've been looking after it. So look deep inside and you'll see it shining in there. What colour is it? 
and just with your pure intention and your pure love just welcome that to grow welcome that light to start growing and expanding dissolving everything that's not needed dissolving anything and everything that no longer serves them just letting that light really expand throughout their entire system until they're fully glowing And it will start being drawn to going into your body someplace. Where's it drawn to going to in you? And just welcome that in. And just welcome that to expand throughout your system. It can expand throughout your entire body. Just welcome them home, breathe them in, just allowing it to mix with earth and source energy, cleansing and clearing the past, present and future of all negative programs and contracts made throughout time and space that no longer serve you. Welcome them home. allowing that to expand throughout your entire system nice deep breath in through your nose allowing that energy and that breath going through your entire body now call to mind your your new positive, perfect, present tense belief or that way of feeling, that way of being, that beautiful, beautiful sense of feeling and being that we found in the other gingerbread man. Just call to mind that. And where do you feel that in your body? And so just imagine what kind of feeling is that feeling just feel where you feel that in your body and just start to imagine a door and there'll be a door that comes to mind notice what you notice about your door what it's made of And behind the door will be your future self, the self of you in a year's time, having lived and embodied that new feeling, that new belief about themselves. So as you open the door, you're welcomed by that future self. Say hello to them. Notice what you notice about them. What do they look like? Where are they? What environment are they in? Let them welcome you in and show you around. And they've lived this life, so ask them what month is it? that your life suddenly took off, that it's suddenly transformed. Just ask them which month is it? Just allow the answer to spring to mind. And ask them if they have a message or gift or something that's going to help you action whatever needs to happen for that to happen. Thank them for that 
and let them know that you'll be back at some point for maybe more information, more connection. Are they happy to help you? So do a lovely little body scan of them and sense, see or feel where their sense of self is, their belief in themselves, that life purpose connection, that courage, that love. Where is it in them? It will be shining from them, it might be a full body thing, it might be coming from a particular place. What colour is it? And just with your pure love and intention, just start to grow that and expand it throughout their entire being until they're just pulsing with this light. It will be drawn to going someplace in you. Where's it drawn to going to in you? So just welcome them in. Welcome them home. Just breathe them in, allowing them to expand through every cell of your being. Cleansing and clearing the past, present and future of all negative programs, contracts made throughout time and space that no longer serve you. Wiping everything that you don't need clean. Resetting you on every level. Just allowing that to mix with source and earth energy throughout your entire system. Bringing you back to wholeness, bringing you back to self. And with a nice deep breath in through your nose, just send that breath all the way down to your toes and give them a little wiggle. And another deep breath in through your nose and send that all the way down to your fingers and give them a little wiggle. And another deep breath in through your nose and send that breath all the way round your entire system, waking up every cell, give your whole body a lovely stretch. And open your eyes, noticing what you notice, putting both hands onto your heart, taking a moment, finish this sentence, this year I give myself permission to And when you're ready, just give me a little thumbs up or a little yes in the chat box. And slowly coming back to your body, fully awake, fully present. Lovely. So what do you know now?
<laughs> everything is more than okay. Everything is everything is okay. And so from this new place of being, yes, it's always been in there. You've got to go in to come out. Wow. <sighs> Perfect. going to be an exciting march a real springboard so from this new perspective this new place of being ah march i can't wait we'll have to have another little gathering in march okay towards the end of march maybe on the solstice we'll do the next kind of event lovely So from this new sense of, hang on, let's just, you can see me. Hi, it's shocking. Um, brilliant. So from this new sense of being, you can look at this workbook now from a, from a, from a new perspective with a new perception on what it is that you would like to have. Everyone's got March, how exciting. Blossom in the right timing. April, lovely, beautifulness. I think we'll have another little um, get together at the end of March, maybe for the solstice or something, and we'll do um, another one, a review of the workbook and a re review of the vision board and stuff. Um, so from this new perspective, you know, to create your vision board now, you're more in, you're in alignment with it rather than it just being conscious dreams and desires that are a bit out there, there's real substance to it. You can, um, ooh, telepathy. There's a real, um, there's a real substance to it. There's a real knowing that you are this and have this. It's just the three dimensional time zone has to catch up with you now. Okay. Um, in the, in terms of the gingerbread man, if you've had, if you've got more than one um, emotional gateway, the first Inescape Quest, monthly Inescape Quest, will be happening um, Sunday. It's the third Sunday of every month. Mm. You are in tune though, Sue. Very. Stay in it. Will be happening the third, we, every third weekend of every of every month on the Sunday. I love you too. Um, so you can use your gingerbread man, it's a lovely little tool, I give it to all of my clients to use, um, they get little books and they draw their gingerbread man out and any kind of time that they have any overwhelm or fear or self doubt or criticism or judgement or anything, I ask them to track it. And so they track it and then they use it either with a session or they use it on the, um, The, it, the workbook is included in the vision self-study course um, but there's more there's the the the, the self-study course is 45 pounds but you put vision in and it's like 22 quid in there is this workbook also there's a true wealth workbook with extra um, processes in there the pattern recognition system process so that you have direct access to the um, control room within you so that you upload all of these core beliefs, but you can also give it mission. So, for example, in Abby's case, it would be, um, you know, tune me into those um, extra to those acting jobs that will that are the best for my for my career or for Steph's, um, you know, tune me into that amazing house at the right price at the right moment. Those opportunities you can give your pattern recognition system that opportunity too. Um, so there's more workbooks in there, there's more, um, the mind hacks in there and there's, oh, there is the MP3 
in Escape Quest um, audio, which uh, you, you, you get your core belief, the, the, or the, the emotional gateway, you literally press play and it's like this process. So you have me, you know, um, tracking and guiding you back and bringing you forward. So that's all in there. Um, um, and also there are, just so that you know, um, all of those emotional gateways or any situation that you're using can be used every month. Every month we go on a, on a track and it's normally about six emotional gateways that we go on. You just email me what you found and then it's interesting how it all kind of, you know, five go together, eight go together here, ten go together there. And it, it's all really similar um, gateways that I can pull out of there. And invariably there's six gateways that we go on, six inner selves that we go and find and collect and bring back on board. So we do that every month. So, of course, there everything's super affordable because my point is to make it conscious growth accessible and affordable to all. Um, so there you can pay once you've paid the 25 quid for the monthly quest it then drops down to 20 quid because you're a quester or you can buy a pack of three or you can buy a pack of six or you can buy a pack of 12 it's all on the website I'll give you links to it all um, so basically you know there's the self-study course but I'm here to help um, for people to dive in and out Is there more than one light oh yeah Yes, yes. I mean, in a one to one session, um, we might have 12 to 14 parts that we find and locate through time and space. In this workbook, there's an area, there's a life area of things. So you might want to just do money or you might want to do relationships or you might want to do self care, nurturing practice, boundaries, um, energy. Um, you know, you might be giving off too much energy and not bringing any back making tea through gritted teeth you know I've been doing that over Christmas and I've really had to you know give to myself give permission to myself um so it's all designed really so that you can look at all your different life areas as and when they come up and that there's a proper great you know there's great tools for you to transform that not just to manage it okay and that means that the goals that you set this year with your vision board the goals you set this year and the steps you create you'll walk them effortlessly because those little children aren't freaked out and keeping you stuck because they're on board they're adults now mature and you've got a real connection with that year self that's lived it that's already worked it because this is all quite a quantum viewpoint okay this is all quantum physics that we're, we're working in here so that 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 optimum perfect highest potential self who's who's currently living and embodying your dream life exists and we're what we're doing is we're tapping into them and anchoring that in time and space we're getting the information back and messages back and things that we can action right now so we're, we're doing we're going back down our timeline bringing them here up down our, up our timeline bringing it here so that we can be fully present in our now as as the magnificent spiritual beings that we are so that we can manifest and create what we've come to this planet to do And that's it. That's the, that's the upshot of it. <sighs> it's been an absolute pleasure to run this with you lot. It's what an amazing way to end the year and to start a new year. So um, the other thing as well, January the 18th quest, whoever books on there will get the, um, the new 2017 Happiness Hacker's Guide to a Happy Life, which has even more interesting stuff that you can dip in and out of you know all of this isn't something that you have to start at the beginning and work your way through you can literally dip in and out of it as as and when you want there's some amazing hackers here already they're amazing and they're they're really helpful so any questions that you have if i don't get there on board you know they'll be answered by um by the by the the queen and king hackers on the on the site thank you yeah let's bring it on let's make this year the best year yet and let's keep doing that um and so any questions i'll put all the links up there um any questions just holler you know i'm quite on it when it comes to answering it love you kate um and just have the best new year's eve go and celebrate now 
and that keep us all posted yeah that's the other thing it's not just about writing it in your little book keep it keep us all posted the highs and the lows let's celebrate together so in march let's um let's reconvene and see how we've got and if you um when you do your vision boards i'd love to see the pictures um thank you thank you what a group what a lovely group i love our table it's really cool thank you guys so much as well because it takes a commitment to walk this talk you know but once we get into it and we we we, we learn the hacks and we can become self-sustainable then you know you can go you can do this with your own families and your own friends and stuff it's that's the point it's not about you needing me in any way whatsoever it's about you me fueling you up so that you can do this um, and change and transform yourselves as and when you need whenever you need okay um, so yeah beautiful thank you so much thank you abs let me know how you got on it's gonna be bloody exciting <laughs> I can't wait so okay so I know I, my my daughter's home now so I can hear her love to all of you and all your family that was a good thank you very much I have a vision board I did two years ago about the farm business and babies I've nearly done them all so should I add yes so it's up to you that's a brilliant little question it's up to you so what I do is I love keeping all of mine because I love seeing the um, progress so that last vision board where I said like that last area was was about my business, I'm now taking that business one off and I'm and I'm not literally, but in terms of creating my next one, it's about my business and about my um, balance, life balance, which includes my family and all of those areas in the Bagua um, thingy. Love to you, Lisa, in the back of the book. I'm going to create it like that. So personally, I love keeping them because I like to see the progress. Um, and also they look beautiful so I like I like that um, so I would do another one and any questions at all about one-to-ones or basically if you email me your preferred time and your preferred day then I'll find the next available slot for you um, but again if that's out of your financial reach you create your gingerbread men um, throughout these workbooks or on the um, self-study course and you've got your map then the um, group quest is a really affordable way of doing it as well ah oh, yeah much love thank you Ellie for coming thank you Lisa thank you Tamsin oh I can't wait to see you in real life and see your little your boy and your new baby when he comes or he comes I don't know anyway love to you all thank you very much um, so yeah, I would I would do a fresh one myself, but that's entirely up to you. You've got again, it's that thing of bringing it home and seeing how you feel about that. Okay, so I'm going to sign off. It's that thing of like I love you, I love you, I love you, and not wanting to go, but I, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. So thank you very much. I love the group quests. Oh my god, they were so inspired. They were so inspired over the summer to do that. It's amazing um happy new year it's going to be the best year yet it is so um the other yeah that's it really that's all so i'll put all the links on the thing to um at the bottom big love to you mm, chat soon kate and uh yeah love you all loads keep us posted and um put your put your vision boards up on online and just you know share what you need to share and we'll celebrate with you or help you know uncover whatever needs to uncover so love you all loads bye Steph bye no no you say bye <laughs> it's like that no <laughs> someone say bye oh no it's only me that can put the phone down love you all bye